You see the guy behind me, Victor Winabinyama, in his second NBA Summer League game. He's number one right about now. If you look and see, he's losing to the Portland Trail Blazers in a 41-55 third quarter, I believe, so to speak. Yeah, third quarter. And um, I see that he's been having a hard time. As he said after the first game, the hard time that he had is that he was trying to get adjusted to the game and adjusted to how the NBA really moves. And yes, Greg Popovich pretty much probably pulled him to the side and gave him a few choice words. But in this game, he's played a lot better than he did in game one. In game one, he went two for 13 and had nine points, eight boards and five blocks. And, and, and I get it. I get it. I understand. It's a lot of pressure on a kid who comes all the way from France, going number one in the NBA, and having this whole Britney Spears situation happen in one sequence, it's so much pressure on him, he can't even move in one place. And to be honest with you guys, yes, it's Summer League. You're going to play a great game. You're going to play against guys who are trying to make the team. You're trying to play against guys who are in year two, year three, possibly so. Um, and you're playing against guys who want to prove that they can get an NBA contract and play in the big leagues, not the little leagues. You get my point. But then again, Victor Winnebayama, to me, once regular season hits, it's really going to be moving at a fast pace for him once the regular season hits. Because you're not, you're not playing against Summer League boys. You're playing against LeBron James. You're playing against Joel Embiid, who was this year's past NBA MVP, league MVP for the fact. You're playing against Nikola Jokic, the Joker, who is a NBA champion and finals MVP, if you may. You're playing against Jimmy Butler. You're playing against Cade Cunningham. You're playing against Paolo Banchero. You're playing against the Greek freak, Giannis Ankatupo. You're playing against so many great names in this league that has to offer, players that's in this league that has so much to offer and showcase. And you're going to really feel that big, big pain, that big, big pressure going into your first regular season game. Don't blow it because you got a lot of fans in the stands that are cheering for you. And then you got a lot of fans outside of those stands hating on you. You understand? Because you're seven foot tall. And you can dunk the ball. You did great when you played in G League or Euro League, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But this is the big boys league where legends are made and heroes get appreciated. And Hall of Famers go to the highest mountains. Names like Jerry West. Names like Jerry Sloan. Names like Shaquille O'Neal. Names like, names like Nate Archibald. Names like Bernard King. And the list goes on and on and on. And then the late, great, black mamba, mamba mentality, Kobe Bryant. See, the NBA is a league that is 82 games. 82 games. And the challenge is stacked up against you, Victor. You're either going to Go to that Hall of Fame mountain. Or you're going to hit rock bottom. And see that rookie wall. Trust me. Because you're going to. You're going to get. A lot. Of hate. You're going to get comments. About your game. You're going to get the media asking you questions on how poorly you play. How poorly you play. You're going to get questions like that. Each and every single game, after the game, even before the game. What is your adjustments going into this game? 
against big name players. How are you going to react to John Morant coming down the post, coming down in the post trying to yam it on you? How are you going to react to it? How are you going to handle it? Well, that question that we're all going to ask you and pretty much I'm asking of you should be answered when the season starts in October. And look, to me, you better pan out or else. That's all I'm saying. You better pan out or else. And Stephen A. Smith, I'm coming for you. Oh, I'm, I'm coming for you, Stephen A. Smith. Off topic to say, I'm coming for you. And yeah, you can bet on it. I will be on ESPN one day. But Victor, it's now or never for you. Show out, ball out, and have fun, kid. The world is yours. You got a great Hall of Fame head coach who knows the game and coached up Tim Duncan, coached up David Robinson, and, you know, Ginobili. He's coached Ginobili. He's he's coached, not choked, because he's not Bobby Knight. He doesn't choke players. He's coached Tony Parker. Tony Parker. He's coached Robert Ory, a guy who actually hit the three to win the 2005 NBA Finals and beat my Detroit Pistons. Had only Rasheed Wallace never left him open like that, Pistons would have went would have went back to back. I don't care what no San Antonio Spur fan says. We would have went back to back that year. We had the team to do it. We had the best five alive. Chauncey, Sheed, Rip, Ben, Tayshawn. We had it. We really, really had it. But we lost to you guys. And yes, revenge is on my mind. No matter when, when, place, when, no matter the time, place, we will beat you. Believe that. We will. Believe that. Um... Yeah, but this is my video, Chicken Nugget King, 5A6, here in the mix with a brand new video for you. And I want you to enjoy. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, and holla at your boy. Because I'm on Twitter, at CashJizzle2. And I am on Instagram, at the official Cash Jizzle. You know, hey, and the YouTube is Chicken Nugget King, 5A6. So make sure you holla at your boy and show your boy love because I'm doing sports and music, even reactions. So go ahead, do what you do, tap that subscribe button, and holla back. Shia.